Hello everybody, welcome back to a new screencast lecture. Today's lecture is going to be concerning mass, and in particular we're going to be converting units of measure, uh, especially going kilograms to pounds and pounds to kilograms. So let's get started. You ready? Yes. You ready? I'm always ready. Okay, first let's talk about units. Now, what SI unit would be the best choice if we were to measure certain things? Now, just like we did with li uh, linear distance when we said you really shouldn't measure the distance from school to your house in light years, there's also units that you would prefer to use for mass. So, for let me get out of this guy's armpit. Now, uh, a person's mass. So, if we're going to measure a human being's mass in an SI unit, what SI unit would we use? We would prefer to use the kilogram. Correct. So, the kilogram is an excellent choice. A paperclip. The gram would be the best choice. Solid medicines like medicine tablets, pills, we're going to use milligrams. It means that there is a million milligrams in every one kilogram. Now, how about something really big like an oil tanker? Here's an oil tanker. Obviously, you don't want to use milligrams. Could you measure it in milligrams? The answer is yes. However, it's going to be an extremely huge number. So we we prefer to use the metric ton, and that is 1,000 kilograms. So one metric ton is 1,000 kilograms. Now, from a more practical standpoint, sometimes you're going to you need to know your mass or your weight in kilograms. I know often now when you go to the doctor or the pediatrician, they will have you step on a scale, and that scale no longer measures in pounds weight is, maybe it's held in pounds, but when they're typing, they're typing that in, they're typing it in in kilograms, or the computer program will convert it to kilograms. So this is something that will definitely be useful for you to do, to try to get, start getting an idea of, and a feel for what is uh, a kilogram versus what is a pound. And one of the things you should remember is that a pound is much smaller than a kilogram. In fact, a kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds. That's something that we learned before. And if you were to calculate that out, if you do 1 divided by 2.2, .2, you get 1 pound is equal to 0.45 kilograms. So about half of a kilogram is 1 pound. So that's something that you should try to remember. And if you step on a scale, here's an example problem. A man steps on a scale and it reads 100 kilograms. So he's using a kilogram scale. What is going to be his weight in pounds? So the way you'd figure that out is first you need to know that that conversion factor that we know a kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds. And if we know that one kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds, we know that every kilogram you're going to need to multiply by 2.2 .2 pounds. So if the, if the uh, weight you're going for is 2 kilograms, it would be 2 times 2.2. .2, and so that would be 4.4 pounds. If it was 3 kilograms, then you're going to multiply 3 kilograms times 2.2, .2, and that would be 6.6 .6 pounds, and so on and so on. So you take whatever the weight is in pounds and multiply that by 2.2 .2 kilograms, and you're going to get the amount of kilograms in, uh, that that weight represents. So here is a formula for you to write down. It's going to be the mass in kilograms times 2.2 .2 is going to be the weight in pounds. Or, if you have to go the other way around, if you have the weight in pounds, you can find out the kilograms by doing the weight in pounds divided by 2.2, .2, and that will give you the kilograms. Now, if you don't get this right away, that's okay. We'll have to practice some of these. But here uh, is the answer to our original problem. The man has a mass. He steps on the, on the scale, and it says his mass is 100 kilograms. We're going to multiply 100 kilograms times 2.2 .2 pounds per kilogram, and you get 220 pounds. So a 100 kilogram man has a weight of 220 pounds. What about if 
he steps on a scale and he has a mass of 70 grams. Now, first of all, is this going to be more or less than the previous example? Well, it's definitely going to be less because the previous example he was 100 kilograms and now it's only 70 kilograms. So we just do it the exact same way as we did before, though. Here's the formula 70 kilograms, so it's is mass in kilograms times 2.2 .2 pounds per kilogram and I definitely want to use a calculator on something like this 154 pounds all right here's another example a man has a weight of 200 pounds what is his mass in kilograms so now we're going the opposite direction he weighs 200 pounds his mass in kilograms should be a number much less than 200 pounds if you remember the conversion factor was 0.45 or if you want to do it by dividing 2.2 uh, .2, instead of multiplying by 4.5 it works the same way so you do the weight in pounds divided by 2.2 .2 is equal to the number of kilograms and in this specific case the man has a weight of 200 pounds so you do 200 divided by 2.2 .2, use a calculator here's our calculator so you do 200 divided by 2.2 .2, it equals and you get this big gigantic number I would just round so the answer 200 pounds divided by 2.2 .2 is going to be 90.9 kilograms or if you said 91 kilograms that's totally fine so roughly 91 kilograms now this is something I do want you to do I want you to figure out your mass in kilograms so write it on your notes just so you can start thinking about kilograms because you have a, a pretty good sense of your body weight. Like let's say you weighed 80 pounds. You have a pretty good idea of, of how much that weighs. If you could try to start thinking about kilograms, that would really be helpful. So this is what you're going to do. And we'll do it with my weight. And to figure out your mass in kilograms, you're going to follow these steps. Just follow along with what I do. Plug in your numbers for your weight and definitely use a calculator now here is the formula your weight in pounds divided by 2.2 .2 equals kilograms so whatever you weigh in pounds the amount of kilograms you are should be a lower number and so let's say I weigh 285 pounds so I'm going to take 285 and using my calculator 285 divided by 2.2 .2, and it equals and I get this big gigantic uh, fraction number so, but I'm gonna round that to roughly 130 kilograms so I had if you see here one point well, I'm sorry 129.54 or blah 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 uh, I'm just gonna round that to 130 kilograms so if somebody asks me how much hey Mr. Richards how much you weigh I could say hey I weigh 130 that would be true however they're probably thinking I'm um, using the unit pounds, but in this case, I'm using the unit kilograms. Well, that was short and easy, so that's about it. I got nothing else. What do you have to say? Anything? Be careful, kids. Bye. Bye. See ya.